Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. Now, in the last version, version 2.3 of GarageBand, Apple did something very uncool. That is that they removed the ability to directly export from GarageBand to Facebook, YouTube, and other platforms. So what I'm gonna show you today is how you can use Apple's free iMovie software to create a simple movie of your GarageBand project that you can then upload to Facebook, YouTube, and any other service where you can upload a video file. So, let's go. Yes, as that guy who was walking down the hallway for some reason said, today we're going to be exporting our song from GarageBand here to iMovie and then creating a video that we can then upload to YouTube, Facebook and anywhere else that accepts video uploads. So let's dive in and do that. Now here is my song called Drinking With You. It sounds a bit like this. And what we want to do is now go back into My Songs and then from here we tap on Select. We tap on the song here, and then in the bottom left, there's this box with an arrow coming out of it. That's our share button. We're gonna tap on share, and now we can share the song ringtone or project. We're gonna share the song. And what we wanna choose here is uncompressed wave. So that's a 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit wave file. If you don't know what any of that means, it doesn't matter. It's just the best quality, which means you'll get the best quality sound in your video. The video will compress the sound, but we don't wanna compress the sound now. Otherwise we go through two stages of compression and our music sounds not as good. So we'll now tap on share. And what GarageBand will now do is ask us where we want to share it to. Now at this point, if you haven't downloaded iMovie, you'll not have that as an option. If you already have iMovie, you'll have this option here, which is copy to iMovie. If you need to download the app, it's 100% free. Just go to the App Store, search for iMovie, I-M-O-V-I-E, and download that app to your iPad or iPhone to use it and to do this process. So what we're gonna do now is tap on copy to iMovie. GarageBand will now export the song. So it's now going to take a little while because it's exporting that song and sending it over to iMovie. What it's going to now do is open up into iMovie and it will bring that song and ask me where I wanna put that, either into an existing project or into a brand new blank project. Now, don't worry if like me, it's taking a little bit of time here at the moment, it will do that. And in fact, because I have no existing projects in my iMovie, I've deleted them all, it's decided that it's gonna put it right here into a brand new project. If it did give you that option, just hit create new project and you'll get to here. So what do we have in front of us now? Well, you can see we've got our song here, Drinking With You 6, that's our track and it's just an audio file at this point in time. So this timeline at the bottom here is our video editing timeline. At the moment we can see it's two minutes 44, and if we just go to a point in this and hit play, then spend some time drinking with all we're going to hear is the audio and see a blank screen. Now, unless you're really into very minimalist videos, you probably don't just want a blank screen playing back with your song. So here's where it gets pretty cool. What you can actually do is hit the add button here and you can add in any video or photos, even other audio from your camera roll, your camera itself, or even your iCloud drive to actually put these into the song. What I'm going to do in this version, in this uh, example today, is to just put a single photo. So I've taken my album album cover and I've turned it into a 16 by 9 image. You don't really need to know what that means except that that means it's 1920 by 10,080 pixels. If you've got a photo that's a different size, it doesn't matter. Uh, iMovie can actually scale that for you and zoom in and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to photos and I'm going to hit my recently added and then I'm going to ignore all of my other random photos of Simpsons quotes and tap on this one here which is my album cover that I've just stretched and compressed to put into that format. Now what you'll notice straight away is that it's now only 6.8 seconds. So that's the default amount of time for each photo. And if we scroll backwards and forwards, you'll see that it's also applied what's called the Ken Burns effect, which is that cool effect you see where a photo will look like it's kind of in motion and moving. So I don't actually want that. If, you, if you're making a slideshow perhaps, what you can do is just choose 20 photos, put them all in here, leave the Ken Burns effect, it'll do the transitions, it'll make a really cool little clip for you. What I want here though is just a static image showing my album cover with my name and the title, and I don't want it to do anything else. So to do that, I'm gonna tap on the actual picture here. I'm gonna tap on the Ken Burns enabled to disable it. And now when we scroll backwards and forwards, you'll see we've got a static image. 
What I now need to do is tap and drag this out because I don't want just 6.8 seconds, I want the whole track. So we're gonna go out and we've hit our second snag here, which is that we only have two minutes 30. So what we actually need to do is we need to add it in again because unfortunately iMovie has a two minute 30 limit for one single image. So let's hit plus, we're gonna hit the same file here and now we can drag this out and you can see there that we've gone past the end. So I'll just leave that just past the end there. And I'm going to hit the Ken Burns button again here in the middle to disable that. And now we can go through and oh, we've got one more problem. So what's it doing? It's moving it from there to there. So what we need to do here is make sure that these are completely zoomed in. So I'm gonna do that by tapping here and you can actually control the zoom. So this is what I was saying about your photos. If they're not 16 by nine, no problem. You can actually zoom them in and position them just by dragging around by using two fingers to zoom in and pinching to zoom back out. So what I wanna do here is pinch and zoom out on that one. And I wanna come all the way down to here, tap on this one and do the same thing, pinch and zoom out. So now all the way through, we've got the exact same image and it's gonna be stable. What we want to do now is this transition here. It doesn't actually matter with this, but what I like to do is actually just remove that. It's, it's fading between the two images, but if we want to just remove that fade, we tap on there and go to none. Because we're fading between the same image, it doesn't actually matter, but I'm a little bit pedantic and I like things to be exactly right. So we'll go back to the start of our song now and we'll hit play and we'll hear what this sounds and looks like now that we've done our change. Okay, one more thing we've noticed here. You'll notice that because I had a bar of lead in, there's actually quite a big delay before the music actually starts. And I wanna remove that because I don't want someone to click the video and then think something's wrong because the audio is not playing straight away. So let's find the start of that by just hitting play and letting it scroll through until we hear the sound. And then we're gonna do a trim to get, to get rid of that. So there's the start of the sound. We're gonna carefully drag back. And there's the spot just before the sound starts. So what we wanna do now is tap on the audio. We're gonna tap split, and it's gonna split out that particular piece of audio. We can now tap on the bit we've split and delete it. And now when we hit play, our song starts immediately. So if someone plays the video, they're gonna be into the music pretty much straight away. There's one more thing that I like to do here at the end, and that is to fade out. So if we tap on the little settings icon, sorry, that's the one right here in the middle on the right that looks like a little cog, which is like our settings on most apps. And we can actually fade in from black and also fade out to black. We can also put all sorts of effects, all sorts of titles, all sorts of themes on here. I'm not gonna go into detail on iMovie today. If you're looking for a full length iMovie tutorial about how to make videos and cool music videos, definitely let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to do a more in depth. But today, I just wanted to show you how to really quickly get a video done here in iMovie. So I'm gonna do fade out to black and hit done. And now you can see there as we scroll through, it's gonna do a quick fade out to black. So I don't want it to take that long. I'm actually gonna grab this handle and put it just at the end here of the track. So now let's just play this last section and see how that fade out looks. Okay, not bad, but I actually want, sorry, not bad, but I actually want it to be even sooner than that. So I'm going to grab the video and I'm going to carefully fade it down to there and put it at that point. Now let's just see and make sure we haven't cut off the end of the song. No, I think that's perfect. Okay, we have our video done and edited. Now we need to send it somewhere. So we're gonna tap on done. And once again, we've got our share icon down the bottom. So down the bottom in the middle here, we can tap on the share. And now we can tell it where we wanna put this. Now, you can directly go to Facebook and YouTube and other places from iMovie. I don't tend to have a lot of luck with that. Sometimes the download, the upload will fail halfway through. So what I do is I actually save it to my camera roll. So by tapping save video, 
It's now going to actually save that. It's going to ask me what quality I want. I would recommend using HD 1080p. So the actual video that I've got here, the, the image file is a 1080p image. And by choosing HD, it means you're going to get a better quality of audio as well. If you start compressing it to a compressed video file, you're going to end up with lower quality audio as well as video. So recommend HD 1080p. If space is an issue for you, 720p is pretty good too. Um, and you can go to those lower ones if you're just going to have it for streaming purposes on mobile devices, etc. So now it's going to be exporting the movie and it's actually going to save it to the camera roll so if I just go to my photos and videos on my phone it's going to be there and that means that I can go straight to my Facebook app I can go to my YouTube app on my phone and now I can just upload directly into those apps from my camera roll without going through any other processes so we'll just wait for this to export and then I'll show you where it shows up here on my phone Okay, we are done. The movie was exported to your photo library. So I'm going to tap OK there. And now let's jump over and have a look at my photos and see where this is actually at. So here we go. We are in my camera roll now. And amongst my intro and outro videos and Simpsons quotes, we have this file here, which is my video file, 2 minutes 38, which is that cut down version where we took the, the front and the back off a little bit. So this is our final song. And now if we hit play... There we go, we have a beautiful stereo, high quality audio, high quality video that we can now distribute and do whatever we want with. Now, as I said, this is a very basic version. This is just using one photo with some text on it. Uh, iMovie has a lot of power. You can actually create transitions, you can use video files. So you can really make your own music video here in iMovie by just exporting that high quality WAV file directly from GarageBand into iMovie and then adding either a very simple or as complex as you like from there. So that is it. This is how we can work around Apple removing our ability to export to Facebook and YouTube. We can now create our own videos and export them ourselves directly here using iMovie. And there you go. I hope this can help you share more of your music that you create in GarageBand with the rest of the world. And as always, if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them for me down below and I'll see you in the next video.